Hey, sorry for the late start. Uh, hello and welcome to Honey Badger Arcade. I'm going to be playing some Bolt Gun. I thought I would all give you all a quick shout out before we get started. Welcome to the show. This is a first time playthrough, so I don't know what to expect. But seeing as uh, Warhammer 40,000 is next on the chopping block and has been for some time. I thought I would commemorate it with a playthrough of a, of a game that probably gets it better than most in terms of like what the themes are so uh, let me know if i sound okay and arcade machine is in the chat so be sure to give her a holler and i guess let's get into it is this working here we go Venerable Bastion, the Magistrate's Bastion. The information we need will be here somewhere. Now all you have to do is get inside. Shouldn't be too hard. Looks like the heretics have managed. Wounded enemies are less able to break out of a chainsword attack. I think I'm, I'm expected to just be pretty, like, aggressive, you know? Hey, Lat. You're expected to be toxically masculine. That's right. I'm all about that toxic masculinity. I think 40k is gonna be, like, the hill that people are gonna die on. Like, they're gonna be, hopefully, just how rampant this is and act on it. I've seen a couple of videos from guys that normally don't talk about this stuff. They are pissed. And you know what? God, God bless them for that, because that's the only way we're going to win this, man. And it's really the easiest thing, like I've always said, you know, just deny them your money. Support the things you love. One of the things that they, they, they count on when they infiltrate spaces like this is that your fanboyness is going to be, like, the primary obstacle. Like, you're going to be like, well, I don't want to give up on my insert brand here. You know, and it's like, well, yeah, just give up on it. It's okay. Like you, you had your time. Other people, they missed out. That's that's too bad for them. So that's what I say. Okay. Try to miss any health pickups. These red guys floating around. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Is that why he's looking over there? Don't worry, bro. We got this, floaty head friend. All right, let's do this. Get some contempt. That contempt going. So, shotgun, plasma gun, heavy bolter, bolt gun. Okay. That, well, there, it looks like there's four more weapons. To What you doing? 
aspiring champion, eh? How about this? Fire to that shit. Chosen champion? What? That's not working. Duckin's kind of trash, isn't it? You gonna transform again? No? Right. What you got? That's not working. To uh, plasma again, I guess, seems to be the best thing. Norwegian. Hey, men, 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 memoniques. Warhammer didn't tip me over the edge as much as Fallout, despite 40k being at the tall end of the second edition. I blame my dad showing me Mad Max way too early in life. What do you mean, Fallout? Like the show? Is the show woke? Hmm. I have no interest in watching it, but I've heard mixed things. So I guess it depends on. Like, how sensitive your wokeometer is. Um, we will fight the chaos incursion to the last man. Yes, that's exactly right. Um, uh, how, on a scale of 10 to 10, how, how heretical is chaos? Not nearly as heretical as uh, modern universities. Um, 11, chaos doesn't play by the rules. That's Oh, you're asking Arcade Machine that. She She's... She knows a little something about the lore. Uh, I wanted to buy the new Krieg book, but now I'm not going to buy it at all. Uh, Arch Warhammer tried to warn them, and he got unpersoned. Yeah, I understand that they put it in people's contracts. That is crazy. Well, but you know what, though? The UK is pretty paused. I think the UK has it pretty bad. Hey, Boda, anyone here heard the viral song, Now You're a Single Mom by Brandon and Jamal? No. Um, it's hilarious. Even came out with a Spanish version. Oh, I gotta look it up. The TV has small woke elements, but it's the creeping lore changes. So I'm what I'm asking is though, like the lore changes, they come for, through the TV show because that's what like the excuse for Warhammer changing had something to do with them making a show. If the leaks are true, they were gonna make a Warhammer show, and it was all this talk. Henry Cavill is a big Warhammer fan. And he said he would only do a Warhammer project if they were faithful to the lore. And uh, supposedly Amazon was going to do a Warhammer show. And I could see that happening, like that, that somebody was going to make it at some point. Um, I know that there was like this little indie Mutant Chronicles movie. I know Mutant Chronicles is kind of like uh, a, a different series of books, but it's got a Warhammer-ish feel. And I, I played the miniatures game. Mutant Chronicles. Big fan. But um, hey all, apparently Henry Cavill is allegedly on the fence on Warhammer 40k because of female custodies. If the company can't be strong enough for a man, see ya, drizzle drizzle. 
Yeah, well, I think he'll. I don't think he'll go along with it because I think that if it's true, they're using the female custodies as like they're using the Amazon show as the excuse. Oh, well, they were doing it for the show, and I could see them doing it considering basically everything they've adapted has been garbage. And there are probably it says some you're a heretic. heretic. There are probably some good things out there, like um, what was it? I, I know people liked One Piece. And people like the new Fallout show. Some people do, but I mean, generally, I don't. I don't really think any of it. Like, I don't care if you do a good adaptation of like an anime. I don't understand why that matters. Like, we have the anime. Like, who who the hell asked for a Cowboy Bebop live action? Who? Even if they did it well, who gives a shit? Like, there is just watch the show. Like with animation, you can do things you can't do with real life. I don't understand. I think people think that it kind of validates their fandom. Like, if, well, we had a live action Naruto, then like the adults in my life would also like it. It's like, well, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Like, you don't need them to like what you like. I know that like Japan's made like at least one live action uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure movie, and I have it. But like, frankly, it's it's inferior. It's just flat out inferior. Like, what is the point? And I remember when they did Captain Harlock, and they did G Force. And they did, um, oh man, it's on the tip of my tongue. I think Cutie Honey got an adaptation. Uh, but all of it is inferior. It's like, well, well who gives a shit? Like, I, I just, I don't understand why people want to be validated so badly. If you do it well, I guess I would welcome that. But I don't really see the point, um, frankly. So, like, I, I think that it's just like for, for uh, an opportunity for tourists to come in and basically fuck your shit up. And what's like, why would you even put up with that? How I see it. A list of... Where, like, how do I know if there's like a secret door? Can I open it? There's gotta be news in here, right? Gotta be. Reach Bastion entrance. They're preparing me for something. Oh, I can't jump on top of that? Oh, I can't jump on top of that. That sucks. Uh, Endymion covered this and said Amazon is likely chasing after improving their ESG score. Woke is already the path. Things change just under our feet without us notice knowing. Yeah, I mean I think so. But again, we still have a choice. We we don't have to support it. We can just say, look, that's not like that is not Warhammer. Just like Miles Morales is not Spider Man. You know, but like one of the things that I think people have to do. Is they have to like stop accepting it says you're a heretic previous incarnations of this because they want to like you know like what they liked originally and i think that's that's a, a different problem they have to like kind of you know be like well i have to reject you have to reject it all seriously I guess I could have just shot that barrel and I would have killed them. Yeah, like, I gotta find better ways to like, be efficient. I say don't put up with it, that's all. Her ammo. Hmm. 
Commence purge! Do it! of Zinch? It says you're a heretic! Go get that guy upstairs. Holy sh look at all this damage. Take that, bitch. Dude, I'm gonna die. Uh-uh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Give me that. Got it. Purging complete. Handling business. Grab all this shit. Oh yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that. Over here, secrets. Anything in here? No. 
making sure there's no secrets. Probably missed some. Duh. Uh, I say if it can't be saved in Gatecap Crate, spiritual successors maintain the core and gatekeep that. Invincible is essentially a Superman knockoff. We can do that with any IP. I mean, kind of, but isn't it just like... Bolt gun, but orcs would be so good, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I have, like, I have the first Space Marine game, and that one's orcs, isn't it? I haven't finished it yet. I need to play through that. With this contempt, get my contempt on. Health. Eight. Is that, is that what the health is? <laughs> Hatred. In this way, actually. I'll kind of get over here. Yeah. Up. I like the speed. Very fast paced. A lot of shooters are like cover and like. Dig it. Alright, let me just reload everything. Let it... Kind of like the heavy bulge is my favorite weapon right now, which is weird because normally I'm all about the shotguns, but the shotgun's kind of shit in this. Shame too. Round like the open spaces, like arenas. You know. Motherfucker, are you shooting at me? Remember Wesley Snipes and Blade? Motherfucker, are you out of your damn mind? Like broke, broke character for a second. Detected. Okay. Oh, this got the key. Bitch. You're alive. Now you're dead, right? Yeah. Must save that for later in case I get Hey, troubled cat. use it. What did it do?
Fuck you! Like the Macarena? I see you, niggas. I got it, dude. Key required. I yeah, I got it. Relax. You're like, you're like my mother-in-law. Floating head guy. Always fretting over you. You look around. There. Oh, there. See? Why oh, it's important to look, bro. More ammo. Elevator? No. Pipes. I think that's it. They love giving ammo out, man. They're kind of nuts for that. This is a clue. These, this like green shit. I didn't need any of this. What are you guys are saying? Uh, somebody had a birthday. AFK fam, AFK family threw a birth, a birthday party. Happy birthday, Zerangs! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday! grenades more. I feel like I should. Oh. Well, there's got to be a way in there. Guys, y'all need to patch that, patch that shotgun. Patch it. Really? I can do it. I can do it. Right? Sure. Uh, 
That's okay. You can't jump pretty far. Well, can I, can I, no, I can't do it. Airlock. me, sir. Here, can I get it? Nope, good. Continue. Yeah, fuck you. Put on and get. down here. Back on the elevator. Better go higher up, eh? Attempt here available. Go there. Be on this other route. out where I'm supposed to go. Head said to go higher up. How do I do that? Shotgun has always been the strongest weapon, Winston. Was. I don't know why it's nerfed in this.
Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to go. down I think Can I use this yet oh this is where I was supposed to go I guess I got the key I mean the shotgun's kind of shit Yeah. You done here? You see that guy like going through the floor? What the fuck? I 
hear that. What is that? some finale or something. Still, like, the door is still closed. The guys are still over here. Oh, hello. Giblets everywhere. Marines and shit. Alright, where, where? Oh, there you are. Terminator, is that it? Yeah, we're done. Jeez. Made a mess of things. Love how the, the, uh, the 2D sprites, they, they, uh, turn to face you. <laughs> Good time. Norwegian said, any of you guys ever listened to Soul Invictus by Lego Legio Symphonica? Mm. Alright, where am I going now? Sure, all this has not been explored, but what do you guys think about giving this a death match or a multiplayer or something like that? Think that um, that would be a bad idea? Go, we're out. We out of here. check and see if uh, the lady has messaged me about anything. We had lunch together. Because I'm a good man. Forbidden knowledge. You're inside the bastion. Its corrupt owner has quite the archive here. Search the deepest recesses of this foul place for information on the fragments whereabout. Jump at the end of a charge to... Maybe that's... Wait, let me see some. Oh, yeah. That's probably what I was supposed to use to get to the, uh... Those platforms. Warhammer 40k was basically like a joke is how it started off kind of like a parody on Warhammer Fantasy Warhammer Fantasy was the main thing and then like 40k like just took off um, and became its own thing and now it's bigger than Warhammer Fantasy and it sort of like shows like you never know what's gonna you know what people are gonna be attached to what's gonna blow up and now they want to like take over you know because it's never about, I don't know, it's never about the thing, right? It's always about the revolution. It's the only thing. Speaking of revolutions, what do you guys think about that guy who set himself on fire in front of the courthouse where Trump was being, uh, where Trump is, you know, being persecuted? Any thoughts on that?
Apparently he was like a Reddit communist that was radicalized. Or he was already kind of like not well. I don't know what the story is or anything. Looks clear. Key to key. I don't have it. First edition was funny AF. Uh, orcs had limos. That's funny. Maybe if they made it Space Marines versus Chaos, a multiplayer bolt gun might work. Well, I don't know about multiplayer, but you know, like how the old Golden Eye and Doom had like deathmatch. It was like you know one v one or two v two or free for all. I think that could be fun with like all the traversal and stuff. I'm reminded of games that we used to like playing, like Golden Eye. Time Splitters and Doom 2. I think it was Doom 2. Or was it Ultimate Doom? Final Doom? I think it was called Final Doom. Um, yeah, I mean, something like that. And you don't have to get like super deep with it. Just like have like some. You can even use some of these levels. They're relatively like. They're, their maps are, are decent. Maybe a little too big. You cut them off a little bit. Don't have much to say about the self-immolation other than the guy was not well in the head. Yeah. Self-immolating after seeing how quickly the narrative turned against the last guy before he was swiftly memory hold probably wasn't a good plan. Well, you know, that it's funny that you should mention that because it does kind of bring that into question. Like, you know, the guy who killed himself um, and shouted, like, free Palestine. Well, I don't know, like, the Israel-Palestine thing is kind of interesting because... Um, generally, I would say that leftists are in support of Palestine simply because they see, like, an oppression narrative. But there are a lot of people who are not leftists that are also not crazy about Israel for one reason or another. Primarily us sending, like, a b billions of dollars in support for them. Um, and they, and they don't seem to, like, do anything in our own interest that exists. But when you set that aside, I think that that military guy that killed himself um, in, in Israel or Gaza or whatever, shouted free Palestine and set himself on fire. I think that guy was a leftist too, just like this guy who did it for Trump or whatever. And I, I think what, what's going on there maybe is that some of these guys, they get radicalized by this like Tommy ideology. So I was talking to BX on uh, Honey Badger, uh, live streams we couldn't do it on the main channel on YouTube because um, you know, YouTube is really sensitive about this stuff but we talked on rumble and I would say you know check out the rumble video for the full thing but I think like what I'm getting at is I think there is a lot of taking you take young men you isolate them then you can radicalize them and I'm reminded of Nama Kate's series on incels where you know she just she talks about how a lot of guys in the incel forums or like in these spaces online they join like jihadist groups white supremacist groups clan um neo-nazis communists islamists whatever islamist terrorists and the main reason they do it is not because they believe any of this stuff it's because it gives them a sense of belonging and it gives them a, a feeling of purpose and so like the the goal of a you know if you if there is a regime or a cathedral the best thing for them, for people who are trying to make political moves, for people who are trying to make an impact on our culture and attack the West at the same time, the best thing for them to do is to take men and radicalize them. And I think, frankly, you know, there's a meme that uh, the men who are, who tend to be the most dangerous to women are male feminists. And, I, you know, like, I don't want to, like, necessarily uh, profile men who are... You know basically just more gynocentric than average uh in a way that like um pathologizes them but i do think that there is something to it insofar as you take men who are you know essentially like they're kind of damaged right um they're damaged by home life um maybe they don't know who their father is their their family's kind of broken up their mom is extra feminist you know and they go to school and they learn about this stuff and they learn that they are the reason why there's so much suffering in the world and so on and they kind of internalize that and i think it does play out you know and they and they'll do anything 
essentially to get a sense of um repentance like they'll they'll do it as an act of repentance they'll martyr themselves and they're doing it for essentially like you know this global homo shit and they don't know that it's not going to do anything because they're dead and i think that it, it ultimately serves a lot of people's interests people who want to maintain their power people who make money off of this sensationalism uh people who want to prevent the conversation from going anywhere constructive you know which is why i talked to bex about you know like why do guys like andrew tate and fresh and fit have you know like these massive platforms with all this reach and yet what they're talking about is kind of stupid you know like they're talking about what like body counts and just stupid shit, right and there are people I, I think i made a post about it on twitter and there were people replying to me calling me a hater and that i'm jealous and you know and, and all this and i'm like you i didn't even respond to them it was so pointless because they, they just don't get it like they think that when i say why do these people who aren't adding much to the conversation get a massive platform and the people who are doing good work and i wasn't even talking about myself i specifically did not make it about me i said people like janice fiamengo as an example and they still thought oh you're just being a hater just like this whole thing with shoe on head where you know shoe made a video about lonely men and it goes it goes viral as fuck and everyone's responding to it and i'm like yeah we've been talking about this for like 10 years and i i get that like the algorithm just doesn't favor us for whatever reason and i get there's a lot of other things that i think we could be doing better but it's not my channel so whatever but uh when i say well why does it you know because shoe's not exactly like um, bringing a tremendous amount of enlightenment to the conversation. I mean, if you look at the video, if you really look at the video, she's not saying much at all. Like, she's not. She's just showing, you know, here's the situation for men. Here's how leftists respond. And they're basically saying, die in a fire, patriarch. And then here's Andrew Tate. And I don't think Andrew Tate is good for this. And we need to do something. And that's it. Like, that, in the video, there's nothing in it. Like, it, it really is like a, it's like a puddle of depth and when i say that when i say well this isn't really you know um i don't think that it's productive and i have to ask like why is it that goes viral you know like why do why do certain things go viral and i think it has to do with um the algorithm and this kind of artificial boosting I, I, and it's not i'm not uh, i'm not jealous i don't i don't care like if it was you know that's why i don't i don't necessarily like i don't really go after pearl because even though I think Pearl can be clumsy in her delivery and she says things that are a little too, um, you know, hyperbolic and, and it gets her in, I think it, it discredits, she discredits herself a little bit when she does that. I know that happens, but on the whole, she is being like, I don't know, like her talking points are better than like Fresh and Fit or Andrew Tate or Roma or Tin Men. You know, Tin Man is saying stuff that we've been saying, we said in 2015. Like, all of this shit is, like, old. It's, like, 2016, 2015. But those people, specifically that I mentioned, Chu, Tin Man, Roma, uh, Fresh and Fit, and Andrew Tate, they get boosted to high heaven. Pearl does despite everything. But I think part of it is because there is this, like, well, first of all, you do, I think the algorithm favors you if you're a girl, if you're female. Uh, just flat out. It just favors you if you're a female. It doesn't even matter what the quality of your content is. Like, I swear to God, like it does. Like this is why, like I think, like you know, Allison puts me in charge of a bunch of shows. This is why I say, look, you should be making your own shows because, like, as a woman, you're just the the algorithm is gonna favor you. It just does. Like, this is just what I've seen. You know, some people they do well despite that. But I think one of the reasons why, say the whatever podcast does better, is also because. What they're talking about is not that deep but they managed to attract like people from the daily wire to come on like candace was on there and michael knowles has been on there multiple times like and so like this works because it 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 boosts the conversation broadly but it also narrows it in terms of like what is really like important to talk about and it makes it easier for people to dismiss the entire manosphere based on like what andrew tate says and people are like well, andrew tate's super entertaining Actually, I know I've watched him a few times. I, I'm I'm not I don't get it. Like I honestly don't get it. I'm not I'm not at all. Like I don't understand it. I think that he's just really good at being. Well, I don't even know. Like it's like he it's like I I don't know. He's he he's just a he's a weird looking guy. 
He's like a, he's like a two dimensional stereotype. He smokes cigars and he wears sunglasses indoors and you know he's like got his shirt off. He gets a massage from some random chick. Like I guess that's funny, but it's it's almost like it's like there are characters in the World Wrestling Federation that are more realistic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like the like the million dollar man Ted DiBiase is more believable than Andrew Tate in my opinion. You know, Hunter Hearst Helmsley this is like I'm showing like my age. Um, the Macho Man Randy Savage, like those guys were more believable uh, characters than Andrew Tate is. And I think, I think it speaks to like kind of how artificial the whole conversation is. It's it's it can be frustrating. Like I was just talking to Lindsay today, and I'm like, you know, I'm I'm kind of like I I go back and forth on this, but I think about just getting a regular job, buying a small house, and just like just living off the grid. Like seriously, I have thought about it because I feel like. I'm spinning my wheels here. And what I would like, actually what I think would be great, I would like is to have a little studio space just like Jesse Lee Peterson does. And I have people over and we do podcasts. I think that doing it live, you know, in front of people is the best way. I think that it is. I, I watched Joe Rogan talk to Tucker Carlson. I haven't watched the whole thing, but, but Tucker Carlson went on Joe Rogan's thing and I watched about a half hour of it. And I was like in trance. I was like, man, they're talking about aliens and shit. And I'm like, you know, I could do that. I could talk for with people in front of them. I'm a social person. I think that would just be, you know, and I don't have to, I mean, like, obviously I care about men's issues, but it doesn't have to be about that. Like, I think that a lot of people are not ready for that conversation, fortunately. And maybe we don't have time, but I'm trying to like, I don't know. I, I'm just looking at the way things are and... I don't see, um, I, I think that what we, we need to do is we need to work with people and the, 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 they have to be, they don't have to be, you know, involved in the men's issues. That's why I talk to people like Bex. That's why I talk to people like Fabian Liberty. Like, I think that we have to look at what we have in common and then go from there, you know? Um, the only self emulation I want is the song by Fear Factor, Fear Factory. That was called, oh, Okay. Uh, Norwegian, I think Andrew Tate is entertaining to people because of how over the top and silly he sounds. Yeah, Tate appeals to someone base instinct. I'm too old and bitter to understand, but maybe I just can't see through the glow. He's he's a cartoon character. I mean, that's what I think. What are you doing here? I thought I killed everybody. Aha! That where I'm supposed to go? I haven't been that way. So let's, let's go at this one.
Hmm. Oh, teleported by me. Doors here. Move, go, continue, leave me alone. down here before I go that way. This, these maps are huge, bro. There's like a lot in here. It's kind of cool. I must say... Down there, is that death? Dude, you can get lost in levels. Totally lost. Make this jump. Hold on. Oh no! Oh good. Did I take damage or anything? Or Wait, did I? Did they let me go across? That was. I thought I'd be dead. All right, let's go in here. This. Unsanctioned power regulators. Construction predates chaotic incursion. Heretical patterns detected. Do I have to destroy it? Oh, well, there's the key. I right, got the red key. Oh, secret. Gauge purge protocols. That is?
So long, sucker. Where am I going? All the the enemies are not all dead because the door is still closed. what you guys are saying really quick uh bolt gun arena would be pretty sweet yeah maybe if they made it um the only self uh, i read that part tate appeals oh actually you guys haven't spoken in a while that's how <laughs> men's activation ritual i have the key i just gotta go Wherever the hell it is. Go. Door. Ah, 
I'm supposed to go? Oh. You startled me, bro. know what key I have. Oh, I have the red key at the bottom left. Covered up by my uh, base marine avatar. That's it over there. Kind of lost. You're doing it here by yourself. Oh, let me go back. Uh, you know what? I think it's up here, right? Recognize where I'm kind of. There was a door around here. Not uh, end. Mazes. Awesome. Show me the way. Lost. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm lost. All right. Uh, one trick to get out of a maze to only make one type of turn to it. So I will only make right turn. Maybe that's not.
The, the floating key thing is supposed to guide you a bit, I think. Well, I have to find, like, a thing to activate. I think it's a red door. I have a red key. Maybe I'll just follow him. Show me. Where, where'd he go? I don't think... I think he's lost, too. I haven't been this way yet, apparently. But this is where I got the key. Where I got the key. Hey! Excuse me. All right, all right, all right. So, let me think. Um, where I came in, I came in. Pretty sure I saw it before I walked in. Saw the door open. Might not be down here. It might be up. But I'm just gonna look around. I see. I feel like when I find it, I'm gonna be tapping my How obvious it is. Door located. Where? I'm following him. Going. See it, bro. Yeah, dude, I know. He's not helpful. Uh, follow the wall maze trick only works on single level maze. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed. All right, I'm gonna go back up. Look around up here. Oh, I've been there. Go up here. Here. I feel like it's gonna be obvious. Oh, there it is, there it is. See? Found it. What the fuck? Oh, you want to roll up? You want to roll up? Fuck, that sucks. But I did kill him with it. Okay. 
Yeah, shotgun sucks, bro. Shotguns aren't supposed to suck. But. Here, get this stuff. Wipe all these guys out. Done purging. Let's continue then. Shotgun can suck. Quadruple barrel shotgun on your hand cannot. Are you making a reference to Phantasm 2? One of my favorite easy horror films ever. Oh shit, where'd that fucking guy come from? Got to go later, Battle Brothers. Later, Norwegian. And these motherfuckers be coming. Done yet? Oh, I, when I kill this guy, more is gonna spawn in, right? What is that? I'm kind of weirding me out, guys. Matrix? What is this? Here, dude. 
That is some trippy shit right there. Is that the warp? Do anything when I cut it. Okay, well, I activate. Oh, what that did. Hmm. I don't know. Dude's not saying anything. I'm just going to keep on moving. Holy Shrine to Bastion Defenders. Must be this way. <coughs> Purification with Holy Fire? Let's do it. go from here. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, that's right. Go back. Oh, 
Ooh, purple key. Now we're talking. Man, those plasma guns, they kind of hurt. Before I go down there, <clears throat> make sure I didn't miss any. Really cool. Of contempt. looking at here at the end or is this the end oh boy it's gonna be another purge level is well look what we're doing wait am i back oh looks really familiar This is all familiar. Where, where am I supposed to go now? Okay, I picked up a purple key. I'm gonna find the purple. <clears throat> where might that be? Where might the I miss and This is the room where I got it. One will take me downstairs. There's uh, again. Library. Back up, I think. I don't even further. I can see this. Maybe this. Is
All right, this is the room with the reactor. Whatever it is. It all like like it all starts looking like it can't determine where I'm supposed to go. There, here we go. Found it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, are there any boss fights in this game? I'm expecting a boss fight at some point. Oh, well, what do you know? Shit, I just... I was just like... Oh, shit, I, I was not expecting that. It just looked like a boss room. I should have known, but... Or is that not a boss fight? Dreamer of Zinch. Bless these little flying assholes. Fuck you, dude. Fuck, those guys are blocking my path. I hate those guys. Where is it? If that's not working. Lord of Change? Maybe the plasma? Where is it? Is it teleporting or something? But it's equal if I use it. Oh man. Uh, maybe I'll just try the bolter on it. Nope. Not good. All I have is the, the plasma is the best thing it looks like. Fuck you, dude. I die here. Oh, there's an arm. There we go. Where is this fucker? Teleport it again. Down here. Oh, hello. Help. This shit. Five. Oh, what? I mean, it's not doing much, but...
I mean, if I'm using this pole, I'm using this pole, bro. Hate those guys. You guys are the worst. Bad, not bad. Where is it? Still there. Zinch has like a whole bird thing going on. Bird, a bird theme. Did I kill it? No, of course not. <laughs> Did I get this face? I'm gonna cut him. Based. <laughs> All right, are we done here? Let's grab the grab these oils. Concealed entrance revealed. Grab all this stuff. Okay, reload everything. I miss any health or power ups or anything.
This way. All right, end of the level. I'm gonna stop here. Good shit. Raise the roof. Almost two hours is pretty good. Bam, 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 bam. Now entering Sanctum Magistratum. Magis Magistratum? Is there no end to the heresy that pervades this place? The information we seek is here. Be the very walls themselves seem to turn against us. Find what we need before chaos. Blames it. It's his eye, Alright, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, good shit so far. Uh, I think I. This is so cool, man. I am, I am very impressed. All right. Oh, I understand that you can like listen to the music in this game. Uh, audio maybe or retro? What's retro? Master volume, sound effects, subtitles. Boom. Oh, I can. Retro palette. Wait a minute, I thought there was a way to listen to the music in this game. Night, Nenomix. Nenomix? Nenom Nemonix? Is that how you say it? Um, nah, that's okay. Alright, anyway. Um, thanks guys for coming on the stream. And hanging out with me. Uh, if you like this video, please smash that like button. It helps me grow. I'm almost at 500 subs. I'm going to start a Discord server where we can, like, play multiplayer games together. Maybe you, we can uh, talk about, like, you know, uh, stuff I could cover. I usually try to make videos on, like, you know, Gamergate 2 stuff during the week. And then I use the weekend to just sort of, like, unwind. Um, and, yeah, I'm almost there. I'm, like, getting every day. I get a little bit closer. So, um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for coming, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Activists are machines, dude, okay? They are literal machines. They are talking point machines. They are impossible to fucking deal with, especially if you have, like, especially if you have, like, a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that, too. Holy shit, you're fucked.